If you watched the naturalization skit from last week on Friday featuring Mr. Officer and that poor, poor interviewee trying to get naturalized as a U.S. citizen, and you were wondering, why am I watching this? Why, why am I wasting my time on this skit? Where's the good information? The good information's here. That video actually has one very simple principle behind it, and it all has to do with how to get past the hard question on the naturalization, reading, writing, and speaking uh, portion of the civics exam. If you want to find out more, I'll see you after the bump. Welcome to Law Great, the channel where I give you reliable information to help you make better decisions and avoid costly mistakes. And where, as of late, I've been putting up skits, two to be exact, as of this video, video number seven in the streak. I'm trying to post every single day. We're going to see how long it goes. Last week, I gave you a video featuring USCIS officer, officer, and an unnamed interviewee. And Mr. Officer, officer was giving, proctoring, the reading, writing, and speaking portion of the civics exam. Uh, so this is before we get to the second part of the exam, which is uh, the substantial knowledge portion where USCIS has a bank of 100 questions that uh, you have to kind of be able to answer six out of 10 of. Uh, and Mr. Officer Officer, is he seems very nice, but he seems to also ask some odd and at times terrifying questions. So let's let's just take a quick look to see what I'm talking about. So actually the first thing we want to look at is, is what the officer says first. It's like, hey, I'm going to ask you some questions. If you don't know, you can ask for another question or you can say pass or just indicate generally that you just want a different set of questions for me to ask or a different writing prompt or something. And it's important to know this because you might run into a situation where you just don't understand what's being asked. And it's not just true on reading, writing, and speaking. It's true also on the portion of the exam where they ask you 100 questions. You have to get six out of 10 right on that, but you can skip a question you don't know, okay? And so let's just listen, listen to that a bit. It's important for you to know if there's something you don't understand. For example, you can't understand what I'm saying and you don't understand the question that I'm asking you to answer or that the thing that I... Okay, so that's that's really important too, right? I, I made this officer officer whose accent is going to change in every video, um, you know, and, and you can tell he's with USCIS because he has this very official looking badge, which I've put together. USCIS, this is not a real badge, you know this, it's, it's, it's printed. Uh, someone ironically on the National Immigrant Integration Conference side. Uh, that's an in-joke for those who know who know. Uh, and what Mr. Officer Officer uh, has is, is this kind of weird accent. It's it's vaguely Southern, I guess, but it's supposed to be thick and a little hard to understand. You're going to get that. Guess what? A lot of USCIS officers, English is not their first language. It could be their second, third, fourth language. And so a degree of uh, listening on both sides is required. And it's understood that uh, you can ask for clarifications. Okay, so let's just uh, see what else he says. I'm asking you to write, you can just say pass, and I'll give you another question, or you can just say please repeat the question. It's up to you. Is that understood? Uh, yes. It should be noted that the interviewee here is saying yes. You know, they're looking good. They're normally nervous. It's okay to be nervous. Okay, and so let's let's keep going. That is, that is understood. All right. Yep. Unlike in video uh, with the USCIS officer interviewing Mr. Adams, which was a marriage fraud interview, notice that the uh, interviewee here is a little more appropriately dressed, although I'd, I'd still go up a level, but you know, costume changes are limited um, in a legal office. Well, that's understood. Let's begin with reading. I got something here for you to read, and you just go ahead and tell me what it says. So this is uh, never going to happen. It happens in the skit where the officer gives uh, the interviewee uh, something to read in Chinese. But it's supposed to illustrate that you might get something to read, which might as well be uh, a language you are um, hard pressed to understand, read, or you know, otherwise see as anything other than improvised hieroglyphics. Um, and so in, in those situations, you, you might want to ask for something else to read. Here, our interviewee kind of gamely presses on, but 
Um, it's just just important for you to notice. So really, in these sorts of situations, you, you can say, hey, is there something else? I don't quite get this. Let, let me get another try with something else. And that's the best thing to do. Here, he gamely tries again, but uh, I don't know how well that works. So you will have to read things in, in, in English for sure. Okay, so no Chinese. And so here, our interview so, asks... So did I pass? Ah, uh, yeah. You do still have to read something. Of course. I mean, of course. Um, and so what he's about to give him is something you would never see. Okay, he gives him James Blunt lyrics. Um, but the interviewee presses gamely on and, and, and does his best and actually passes. And so the other thing to take out of this, and so let's just, just see the highlights there. Of course. Okay, so here's the lyrics from James Blunt. Right? Okay. And so... My life is brilliant. My love is pure. I saw an angel. Of that, I'm sure. She smiled at me on the subway. This is James Blunt. She was with another man. This seems really high on. Okay, so he gamely presses on. Obviously, I think obviously, you shouldn't sing your answers, but gamely trying is all you're being asked to do, and it doesn't have to be perfect. You don't have to get every word perfectly pronounced or anything like that. Just get through it, and you'll be surprised with how well you do. So. That's what I would want you to take away from this particular scene. Okay, so in this portion of the exam, the officer is about to ask a question that's just supposed to test your ability to just kind of understand what's being said, and he's gonna go way over the top. And I want you to notice, first of all, that this would never happen in your actual interview. It's meant to show something that's impossible to comprehend. Okay, it's number How one. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck a woodchuck and only chuck two chucks of wood every 30 minutes, but he only had 15 minutes and he did chuck wood because his chucking Days were long gone since he's a 45-year-old man that doesn't have much time in the day since he's got to take care of kids, go to work, come back from work, take care of more kids, walk the dog, and that's it. That is a scared interviewee. I would be scared if that happened. Uh, that is that is probably maybe not a happy man. He holds it well together, that USCIS officer, but not a happy man. Interviewee scared. If you don't understand, it's actually really easy to get past this, and we're going to watch the interviewee do it. I'm gonna go back and forth. I'm scared. Officer would never be this mean, hopefully. Okay. And then he says what? He's gonna say. Pass. That's perfect. If I was that guy's lawyer, I would say that's perfect. You know, just just get the next question and and what happens on the next question? Very good. Officer's well, like oh, that, that that's by the rules. Is. That plays by the rules. How was your day today, sir? My day was fine. That question, that second question after you hit pass, you know, is a lot easier, obviously, than the guy's first rant about woodchucks and being 45 years old. And uh, that's just meant to illustrate that, hey, you know, if, if you ask for another question, number one, you're allowed to do that. Number two, it, it could be something that you understand and is much easier to answer. Okay. All right. And so then finally, I just want to look at one more part in this video. So this is a question which I haven't seen this type of question okay on the uscis naturalization interview uh but it's just illustrating the same principles uh number one you can ask for different questions uh number two you can ask for clarifications number three do your best you know do your best you'll be surprised with how well you can do and here we we have something that's uh you know coming out of a dickens novel you know, it is one of the great books, the book that he's reading, one of the great books uh, in American literature, but there's no reason you would be expected to be able to comprehend that sort of text, okay, just off the bat. Um, and of course, there's a ridiculous premise, so he's asked, hey, hey, finish this, you know, opening sentence, and uh, our guy, you know, finishes with something, his best guess. It was the epoch of incredulity. Well, here's a sentence. It was the season of life. It was the this season is, of darkness. This is a southern a accent home. mixed with it a British a accent. Of... What's he going to say? Turkey? Turkey. That's a good answer. Yeah. I'll be honest with you, sir. Turkey was not the perfect answer. Despair, as in a winter of despair, would have been the perfect answer. Perfect. But your choice... A word did move me. Uh huh. Let's In a way it. I can only describe as American. There's little else more American than turkey. 
You pass that portion of the exam, sir. Pass, pass, pass. Thank you. Try your best. Realize that you can ask for different questions. You can pass on things you don't understand. You can ask for clarifications. Realize that the officer is a person too, however quirky they may be, and you're gonna be just fine. Um, we have our next two skits running this Thursday and this Friday, and then I'm going to do an explanation video at the start of the following week. I hope you enjoy them. If you like what we're doing, share it. If you hate it, what can I tell you? If you think it's just meh, let us know how it can be better. But hopefully you learn something. That's all we can do on the channel where I try to give you reliable information to help you make better decisions and avoid costly mistakes on your immigration and legal journey. Take care.